What is the crack, lads? We are back testing out some V1.1.4 gameplay. Good tackle, Cloud. Oh, man, that the collision system there, man. Like win, lose, or draw. They need to improve that. They need to improve that a lot. Come on, ref, will ya? There's no ball being played there at all. Rage quit that. And the ref might as well not be on the pitch. Oh my days. Eddie V. No, I just can't score, man. Ah, oh, Cloud. Defensive AI seems to be a little bit better. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to say everything yet, but the defensive AI seems a little bit better. Um, sorry if the mic was a bit far away as well, lads. Oh my god, that's a terrible pass. He's gone route one. Lovely. We go now. Now we can concentrate. Now we can start build attacks. Lovely Neymar. Haaland. Cloud. And a touch. Haaland! No. Was, there was there was a bit of a risk-reward before at it. You know? And I just feel that that's kind of gone now a little bit. Roberto Carlos. Haaland's in there. Great ball! Oh, beautiful. That looked like a Haaland goal, didn't it? I just feel like there's so much assistance there now that, like, that's my biggest problem. Like, I don't mind the game assisting you a little bit because, obviously, you know, they have to keep it balanced in a way that... You're, you know, you don't want, I don't want winning 10-0 every game or every single pass I make coming off. Like, but there's no real, in my opinion, there's no real deterrent against somebody playing completely balls to the wall. Like the space no. that comes up and you, when you get a bit of space, it kind of closes down automatically because there's so much assistance with the defendant. That's just my opinion at the moment. Like, he's at, look how much space he's after giving me here. And it takes the wrong option. I'm trying to pass that into Romario. Again, here. Look at the space. Pedri. I can't get the ball over to Pedri. I just can't get it over to him. It's weird. It's weird. It's a weird experience, I think, playing it compared to V1. Two added minutes has been indicated. Penalty. Nice from Diaz again, because he gives a lot of space, including this. Neymar. Oh, man. Where are you going? <clears> ha, <throat> <laughs> you can't get past Maldini like that. Who do you think you're trying to get past there? Romario, all oh, the space is there. From Mario! Oh, too easy. I should have finished there. It just really slowed down there for some reason. But Romario had the balance there to just hold off the defender, which is key. But look at the amount of space there that I'm getting because this play, this guy is playing. This is more like it. I think it's just about holding possession a little bit. Oh, Maldini, get back. Maldini, what are you doing? What is that? Salah, easy from up in McKenna, lads. I'm just gonna just take the sting out of this one now. It's a great play. And I must say, this game actually feels a lot smoother now than the last one. So connection probably does have a lot to do with it as well. It's brilliant. Romario! Oh. Yes! We'll get the sealer. Got lucky there. I've been poor in front of goal. I'm going to analyze this game again, lads, because I do think that this one is a little bit more freer. Am I able to pass the ball around a little bit and take the sting out of the game? It seems to be a little bit more responsive. It's still not where it needs to be, in my opinion, but it does seem to be a little bit more responsive. The passing seems to be a little bit better. Roll in Romario. Ah, oh, that's too easy for Romario, lads. Ah, oh, what a goal. All right. We could be onto something here, lads. Because I think in the first half of the game, I did a lot of complaining. But I was doing a lot of mistakes myself. 
And I've kind of gone back to in the second half, gone back to playing a little bit more possession, drawn into the players. I just still do think, though, that there is way too much assistance with the defensive AI. Yeah, I do. I do think it's a bit better, lads. I'm going to say it. Slightly. I think the responsiveness is definitely improved. But this game feels, again, we've had that mixed bag. This game feels way more responsive than the last game. Especially defensively. All right, so we are back doing a bit of post analysis. It's hard to do it when you're actually playing the match sometimes. So we are going to take a look at a couple of clips that we of the, from the games we just played. Talk about them. Talk about maybe what's been improved. In my opinion, it's very early doors. It's early, early, early impressions, obviously. Um, because we've only played two matches. We played one divisions, obviously, that you just saw. And we played one the first game that you're seeing here. So we have a couple of clips, right? The first one that we're going to take a look at is here. I just feel like that the defensive like side of the game, like here with Sergio Ramos just bowling into me, I just feel like the defensive of the game is way too assisted, man. Like it's just way too assisted. Like the more you look at this, like it just has no, there's no like, that's not even a 50-50 tackle in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. But I do think that that's probably a bit of an issue with the game that players have just learned to be able to spam the shoulder charge, be able to spam you know, the way that the referee isn't going to call for a foul. And even if he does call for a foul, if you do it six or seven times, when you get six or seven chances going through on goal, that would result in a goal, like, more often than not. It kind of takes away your complete flow of the game. So it is very frustrating, I think, with, with things like that. Next up, we have this one here, where, again, we see another example of this kind of, like, the pass. And watch this passage of play here. Um, you know, I get the ball back from an interception. I pass it back straight to him. Corona just misses it. It goes out wide. I'm going to bowl in here to him and just like run into him as best as I possibly can with Claude Makalele. Brilliant tackle. Uh, manual tackle. Then he falls on the ground. I don't know what they're doing. Playing a bit of playing a bit of mess fighting. Ball breaks forward there again. And the, the pass like bypasses him. It's just messy, man. It's chaotic. And like, and then you have it on the flip side, lovely little dummy from Neymar, passes straight into the flight of the player, the path of the player, which is my own fault, he turns me on a sixpence with Carrasco, gives it out wide, going across the ball in here, and it's well cleared by Vieira, so, you know, we're on the attack again with Pedri, he's trying to cut me out, I'm trying to get forward with the ball, and that's when I think it looks well, you know, like this breakage of play here, again with Haaland, like comes all the way in and culminates in getting a lovely chance with Haaland, so I do think that there is some good stuff on it, um, again here the ball goes central here from Vieira gives the ball into Claude Makalele in the box with Pedri and again he comes out with the shoulder charge and absolutely just destroys me bullies into me and bulldozers me and again it's no penalty there's no real like deterrent for him or punishment for him for actually playing like that and that's frustrating for me because I want to be you know, getting the chances that I deserve to be getting like he stops me getting a goal chance there with Pedri because I was just about to unleash with Pedri there so the ball comes out here to Carlos. Okay, get the ball on. I'm ready to go. Watch this for a pass here. Just a simple touch and go. Carlos just, I don't know what he's doing. I try to turn in. Takes all day to turn in. He gets a chance. Drifts past me and he gets a header on goal. Now, again, from me here, right? Yeah, it could be a mistake from me. I'll own that one. So I'm not going to crib too much about it. But it is kind of frustrating that he's on the run here. Lovely pass. All I need to do is a little touch. And it's not even a bad ball. It just seems to be without his pad. But that's a 50-50 one. I'm not going to criticize it too much because them things kind of do happen in real life as well. And I do think that it shouldn't be, especially the fact I don't play on full assistance with the passing. I don't think I want to see too much assistance with it. So um, we'll get into the next match in just a second, lads, as we switch over. All right, here. lads, we're back with the second match and we're going to take a look at here. I think this is a vast improvement, right? When I've kind of watched this clip back a few times... This is hugely imp improved, right? So he absolutely destroys me with Sané there. I commit a little bit too much, but not enough that I shouldn't be able to get back. And you can see there, the responsiveness of Maldini here is very, very much improved just based on this clip alone, right? Usually in V1.1.2, I'm not getting to that ball. I'm not getting to it because by the time I switch back, to well, by the time I switch to Maldini here and I've committed, he's just gone past me. So you can see here that I do get a little bit of a, a kind of a catch up with it. Um, but again, as I said, in terms of balancing the game, you know, it shouldn't just be one skill move and you're gone free. Like if I slide tackle there, yeah, I should get really punished for it. 
but I'm manually controlling Maldini there. It's not the AI. Like, let me make the mistake and let me be rewarded for reacting quick enough to get back. And I could have put in a slide tackle there and fouled him and he wouldn't have got away and I could have got a yellow card, but I actually did get the tackle away. So I do think that there, like the little sidestep, you know, from running backwards to running forward and then getting the ball and flipping it away is a huge thing. Um, We fast forward on here to this chance here with Romario, ball, long ball comes out here with Neymar, I've got lots of space here with Paddy V, lovely ball to, to Messi, lovely ball to Neymar, I'm out wide, I'm going to try and cut back inside and uh, give it as quick as I can from the dummy, lovely ball in through the middle and you can see that their awareness of his players is quite good as well, you can see there that with Neymar it looks very organic, it looks very natural, I cut in, he switches player and he gets the slide, but he doesn't get it, but Up and McKenna is in a good position. Again, I like stuff like that. Again, similarly here, I'm out in the wing with Up and McKenna. He tries to beat me for pace, and this is what I'm talking about reward and defensive players that manually defend. I switched Up and McKenna, I read it, and then I commit. I stop, and then I commit. You see that little stutter there with Up and McKenna in a second. Um, I'm not blowing my own trumpet now, lads, don't worry, but you'll just see here, right? So I stop, Realize he's going to go for it and then I take control of it. That was a big issue in V1.2 is that that little stutter, it's still there, but it's marginal now. It doesn't really make a difference to your overall uh, distance covered, I would think. It just looks a bit ugly. Um, we fast forward on here to a lovely ball out wide to Diaz. Going to get it on the wing and we're just going to create a little bit of pockets of space all over the pitch. Possession seems to be back a little bit. Lovely ball back to Carlos. Bit messy. Comes across again with the with the collisions. Needs to be you know looked at and toned down a little bit, I think. Diaz here back out to Carlos. Trying to get a bit of space into Diaz. Cut inside. Cut across. He gets a lovely tackle. And that's the difference between manually tackling and just defending uh, you know, automatically with the shoulder charge. Again, I get a foot to it with Claude. Claude gives it back to Neymar. Into Messi. Messi's going to go wide. Lovely switch of feet into Neymar, tried to cut inside, he rides the challenge, and that should have been possibly a, a penalty as well, but he didn't go down, again, I get uh, he gets past me with Sané, he leaves me for dead, this time I can't catch up to him, which is fairly okay, he gets the ball back in here, it's his first real chance, Salah, I know that I've got so many bodies around now, I'm defending manually, and obviously the AI is helping me a good bit as well, and the ball does get cleared, and then we fast forward this on the whole way, until we score our second goal, which is coming just in a minute, Romar gets a good chance here uh let me see it's in the second half somewhere lads uh let me see let me see here we go i think this is it so again ball comes out here to diaz like he's not really defending me he's kind of player switching a lot he does get a brilliant challenge in there with up in mckenna and now he's out of position i get a tackle in with claude ball goes out wide i'm trying to win the ball back he could very easily get in here but i switch i call in a bit of player and uh, I get the rush on him, and then it's true, straight through with Romario, I do make a bit of a hames of the, of the finish, I try to, I try to uh, kind of like get more power in it, but Neymar does slot at home, and then for the last goal that we get, this is probably um, my favorite goal, and probably like why I think, uh, I think that this has real potential, this is probably the clip of the day, right, so again, he tries to rush it from attack, I have one, two, three, four, five passes, Roberto Carlos goes central, holding possession, six pass, waiting for space, spread it from left to right, seven pass, eight pass, lovely ball out with the stunning shot, Corona's going to take it on, cut back, give it back to Ronaldinho, ninth pass, tenth pass, I'm like Pep, eleven pass, twelfth pass and move, thirteenth, turn with Romario, roll him, and I'm in, and that's kind of what I've been doing in V1.1.0 that I really enjoyed, like, I kept possession there for, since the kickoff, I kept it for about six or seven minutes, didn't lose possession, had about, what, 14, 15 passes, switch from left to right, right to left, all the way on, and then eventually, once, once it goes central, and I get the chance, he overcommits with the AI, and I just absolutely turn him on a sixpence with Romario, and walk it in, so lads, look, in, in, in closing this, right, it's a fairly lengthy video, um, we do have the highlights, and we do have the analysis of everything from the last game, but I think that there is definitely potential there in V1.1.4 now, based on my initial two impressions of it, I felt the second game was a lot smoother, even though he got a goal at the end and he had, he had a good squad and stuff, I felt more, the first game was more chaotic. But then again, I do think it depends how you play. I think the defensive AI and the defensive assistance needs to be toned down. I think the collisions and the shoulder charges and the auto tackling needs to be completely toned down as well. Make the player 
be punished if he makes a bad mistake. If you make a bad mistake or a rash challenge, like what we saw there with my third goal there, right? This is what the way the game should be defensively the whole time. He leaves, he's chasing the ball, he's chasing the ball, he's chasing the ball, and then he uses the AI to try and cover his mistakes. I turn him, and look at the space he gives me. I'm in with Ronaldinho, I'm in with Mario, it doesn't make a difference. This is the way it should be nine times out of ten. If you make a defensive mistake, you should be punished for it. If you do something class offensively, you should be rewarded for it. And if you make a bad challenge or you just auto-tackle with the shoulder charge, you should be punished with it. It's as simple as that. Because it takes your whole momentum away when you're going forward with a chance. So that is it for me, lads. Let me know your thoughts on V1.1.4. And uh, I'll be back quite soon with another couple of episodes. Don't forget to check out Dream Team Chronicles as well. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later, lads.